Belly dancing is not stripping. We're not strippers. We're not in nightclubs taking off our clothes and dancing around poles. Belly dancing is an art form that has been around since cave paintings. As far as actual documentation of dancing, belly dancing comes before ballet, which is really the first documented dance in history that you can find besides belly dancing, which is ballet. So belly dancing is not stripping. It is entertainment. It is social, it is folkloric, it's dance of a woman. There's male belly dancing too, but history shows that belly dancing is a social, entertain, entertaining dance for women. So I've been doing it for about two years now and the thing that I like best about belly dancing is that really you don't have to be a specific person or a specific body type. You can just be whoever, whoever you already are. You don't have to change for anybody. You don't have to like fit in because everybody really just fits in automatically. And what I like most about belly dancing is that it really gives you a lot of self-confidence that you know, a lot of people already have self-confidence, they just can't use it because they don't really know how. And belly dancing kind of helps you express how you feel about yourself and it helps you connect with other people who are like you, who also enjoy like dancing or really just the arts in general. The moment you don't get nervous anymore is the time you should quit. You know, it's just one of those things. It's, you, you want to get excited, you want to get hyped, you want to, you know, use that energy in a constructive way and put on a great show. So, yeah, sometimes you get nervous, but you just kind of have to push yourself through it and, and remember that, you know, your dance is a journey. And when you're performing, you're representing your journey at that moment. So I am like super nervous. There's like 150 people out there and like usually I don't get this nervous before performance but like because it's my department, like the Spanish department, like all my teachers are out there, the head of the department's out there and I'm like running around like with midriff showing <laughs> and I like freak out about my makeup, like I feel like I look like a tramp with too much lipstick on. And <laughs> so but I, I should, I should whew, out. Yeah, and usually like all this nervous energy is like bam when I'm dancing. It gives me an extra boost. of an art form that dates back to centuries and enables women to express themselves in different ways and um, enables them to join together in camaraderie and also an individual expression. Belly dance is my life. <laughs> um, it's, you know, it made me the woman I am today. It's, it's amazing. It's been the best thing I ever did. There's a common misconception that belly dancers are all in their early 20s and are super skinny and hot and sexy, you know, just the way supermodels are. And actually, the community of belly dancing is so welcoming to all body types and all, of all shapes, all sizes, all races. It's all a state of mind and, and it's loving who you are and who you are in this moment. And yeah, maybe who you are in this moment is 20 years older than you'd like to be, or, or even 20 pounds heavier than you'd like to be, or even 200 pounds more than you'd like to be, but it's love who you are in this moment and, and enjoy the dance. This is an ancient dance with, I mean, we're, we are part of a sisterhood that goes back a millennia. And also, it's just fun. Just do it to have fun. You know, it's not about the performing all the time. A lot of it's just getting together with your friends and meeting new people and having, you know, having new experiences. You know, so that's, that's the story. 